All right, guys, so here's that old uh, steel wheat penny that I found a little while back. It was in my last video. I want to give some good before footage here. I'm going to run it through electrolysis here. So that is what it looks like. Let's take a look at the components from my electrolysis system. All right, so here's what we've got. I've got this little jar, glass jar of filtered rainwater. I uh, just went and found a puddle with some rainwater and then ran it through a coffee filter. So it's not going to have any chlorine or fluorine or other ene in it. And I have some baking soda that I'll mix into the water. And this doesn't have to be an exact amount. But that, uh, I don't know if that's the electrolyte or what you call it anyways. It helps electricity pass through the water, I believe. I don't know. Correct me on that. All right. So then I've got this old cell phone battery uh, battery charger. And if we look at the the uh, the output on this, uh, it's it's actually higher than what I thought. Um, the output on this is. Let me see if it'll focus here. There we go. 800 milliamp max. So five, it's a five volt, 800 milliamp. I think a 500 milliamp would be a little better. That's lower. I think you really, the slower, lower amperage, the better, maybe. I don't know, for small items. Bigger items, you would never want to use that weak. Anyways, I just cut the, I cut the end off and then, you know, pigtailed onto that some alligator clips. I don't know that these are the right polarity. I don't think red is positive and, and uh, black is negative. You have to kind of play around with that. So anyways, I've got to get a, uh, I've got this, but I've got to get a stainless steel spoon or something to clip this to. So uh, hold on just a second. All right, so I have the setup here. I've got the black hooked to the stainless steel spoon. I think this is correct. Um, and again, these aren't uh, positive and negative. Uh, I, I don't know exactly how, how it works. I'll, I'll have to watch and, and make sure that the coin is the thing that's bubbling. Uh, anyways, the coin is, is clamped on here. It's put down in the water. And then the spoon is in the water and it's not touching the coin. And I've got that clamped on there. And then you plug in and you watch and there you can see they're both kind of sizzling right now but the the red one's sizzling the most and that's that's what you want and really you don't want the the alligator clip to sizzle you want the coin to sizzle so i'll keep an eye on that i might have to adjust some things but anyways i'll see you after i've let this run for i don't know I'll, i'm gonna check on it in about a half an hour or so and then and then maybe uh, another hour, but uh, we'll see here in a moment. All right, guys. Well, I'm done cleaning up that uh, steel wheat penny, and it's actually let's see, the next day or two days. I can't remember. I think it's the next day. Um, had it in electrolysis, and was doing it for an hour at a time, and then I would stop and and go take it out. Uh, rub it with my finger a little bit try to chip stuff off with my fingernail and then uh, put it back in um, I did let it go overnight last night and I set my alarm and I got up like every two hours I was really nervous about taking the electrolysis too far it is possible to do that and actually start to ruin the base metal uh, what you want is just the process to uh, it, it, this is my understanding of how electrolysis works, okay? If you're a scientist, please correct me. But basically what you're doing is you are, you are creating a circuit of electricity uh, going through the coin to, and, and one of these is an anode and one is a cathode, I believe, going from your coin to the other metal object that's in the... Uh, the fluid, the, the liquid, and that process of the electricity going from the coin to the other object actually loosens and removes the stuff that's adhered to your coin. But anyways, 
I, I had it running. Uh, I basically ran it all night, even though I was checking on it. And, uh, and then uh, ran it some more today, this afternoon, and got it to a point, started using a brass brush, and then got it to a point where I felt like I was done with electrolysis, so then I had it soak in CLR, which is a uh, uh, solution to remove calcium, lime, and rust. And I, I put it in there until it quit bubbling. Then I washed it off, brushed it with the brass brush, and then uh, and did that a few times until uh, when I would put the coin in the CLR, it would no longer bubble. Anyways, all of that to say, two, two and a half minutes of that to explain what I had done to get the results you're about to see here. And I'm impressed. I, I was surprised. And, and we're going to look at this, uh, and then I'm going to put a macro lens on my phone. We're going to get really close in on it. So here is the cleaned up coin. And let me just see if I can zoom in. All right. So that is, this is the heads. Let me see if I can move my light in. And you can clearly see Lincoln's head, but what's difficult to capture on this, uh, on this camera, as you can see, Liberty, and I got a date off of it as well. And let me flip it over. It's obviously pretty chewed up. Maybe if I hold it, I can, I can adjust the angles and things. Look at that. You can see United States of America. You can see the wheat reeds, and you can at the right angle, see where it says one cent. That's that's amazing. I mean, go back at the beginning of this video and look at what this thing looked like. It was just a clump of rust. Right here at the tip of my thumbnail, uh, that area of the coin is actually pretty, pretty decent, that surface. Look at that. All right, so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to shut this off. I'm going to put the macro lens on my camera, and we're going to take a look at it. All right, guys, bear with me. I'm not very good at this with this macro lens. You have It's hard to get the right lighting, but right there, boom, 1943. You can see the date. Look at the pitting from, from the rust. Then if I come over here, let's see, there you go, you can see Liberty. This big clump of rust right here I could not get off, and I'm sure I could remove that mechanically. I could get something to chip that off, but I uh, just didn't do it. All right, let me flip it over. There's United States of America, and you can see one cent, and there's the the left wheat ear, and then the right wheat ear. But man, I'll tell you what, uh, electrolysis works, and uh, you gotta take it slow, and and uh, you know this coin is worth absolutely nothing, uh, but you know, in terms of numismatic value. But for me, as a metal detectorist, finding this was is such a rare thing to find one of these metal detecting and to be able to clean it up enough to see that it truly is a wheat penny is amazing. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this little video that showed the uh, kind of the the amazingness of this steel wheat penny. If you liked it, uh, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you like my channel, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you at the next video.